tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. Satnam, everyone. My name is Reverend Ridge, and I'm here again for another episode of Practical Magic. And for those of you who are asking me what metaphysics is, basically, you know, we all have life experiences. And whatever it is that we're experiencing now, there's something that we can actually do from the inner plane that we can adjust. And I'm so excited right now because I have my friend and whom I consider my brother. And he knows about hypnosis and metaphysics and he's gonna help us with these adjustments from the inner plane so that we can actually enjoy what we're experiencing in our own personal and professional lives. But before that, I want to invite everyone for a simple affirmation. So before we start, please take a deep breath. And exhale. And use your right palm to touch the heart. Take a few cleansing breaths. And let's affirm, I love myself for all that I was, all that I am, and all that I want to become. I am worthy because God made me so. And let's chant Satnam three times. Satnam. 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 All right. So anyway, I'm so excited because so many things that we actually want to experience with ease and with grace can actually come through us through our habitual thoughts, feelings, and emotions. And I'm very sure that with Anthony's background, we'll all have an amazing learning experience tonight. And our guest for tonight is actually a business owner and founder, hypnotist, transformation coach, metaphysician, linguist, and forex investor. He is known as the awesome at an unexpected call from my mom and was reaching to me to apologize for my childhood and how she treated me. I was floored. I truly believe this happened because I was energetically open to receive I've already been recommending Anthony to friends and colleagues and would encourage anyone to give him a try. He's great at what he does. So that's really awesome. And, you know, I'm so excited because probably there are certain things that we can ask him how we can improve and step up our game. So Satnam, Anthony, how are you? Satnam, very good. Thank you for having me on the show. How are you? I'm doing great and I'm pretty excited because I know you've been talking about having this interview for some time now and you only yeah. had the chance to do this. So what's the weather like in LA now? I'm glad I'm here. Uh, yeah, thanks for having me. Um, Salamat. Uh, the huh. weather, I'm actually in the state of Washington. So I'm outside of Seattle, mm -hmm. born and raised in Seattle. So about mm -hmm. two hours north of Seattle, which is very close to Vancouver, BC. So we're, we're just like right on the border of Canada. So it's um, it's around maybe 40 degrees right now. Mm -hmm. It's pretty cold. Mm -hmm. 32 is wow. freezing, so yeah. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> and we can use some uh, cold weather right now because it's very hot here in the Philippines. Oh, yes. And, yeah. Uh, but it's December, so at night it becomes relatively cooler. Okay. But it can be uh, cooler actually. So anyway, what got you into metaphysics and hypnosis? Because I noticed that prior to this, you already had a uh, prior college degree. 
Yeah, um, definitely. Well, first of all, I, I, I want to make it to the Philippines someday. I haven't yet. Uh, I, I grew up with an <laughs> aunt from the Philippines. And so mm -hmm. I grew up eating, you know, lumpia and pancit and, you know, um, <laughs> hanging out at her house. Um, yeah. But yeah, so I got my degree in metaphysics. But first, um, I did have a degree. I do have a degree in Spanish literature, modern languages, mm -hmm. because yeah. Spanish was the first my first love. At, at 12 years old, mm -hmm. I fell into love with the language. And mm -hmm. probably before that, probably 10 or 11, you know, and, and right when I was able to start to study it, then I started to study it. Mm -hmm. And it was just a beautiful thing for me. And I, you know, from 12 year old, when 12 years old on, I didn't stop studying it. And, you know, I got my, I, I was in advanced classes in high school. And then in college, I'd already gotten, you know, uh, credits for college and high school and then uh, I didn't know what I was going to major in because cut it up so uh, something that I also want to clarify with you for men is it really important to get validated about you know like simple things like looks or you know how you carry yourself how you dress up is it important for men to be validated for looks <laughs> um you know it depends on the man. Mm -hmm. A lot of times, people like men don't care, and uh, and um, and you know, for, for the most part, like you, you would think that men don't care as much as women because we don't put makeup on, we don't, you know, yeah. spend as much time in the mirror, you know, and as as women do. You know, there, there are some men who, you know, love to groom themselves, and mm -hmm. uh, and. And, and, you know, love with compliments, but, you know, because it's one of the, I think it's one of the, you know, languages of love is receiving compliments from people. Yeah. And, you know, j just as, just as women are, men, men like compliments too. Yeah. That's awesome. <laughs> enjoy compliments too. <laughs> yeah. And, you know, like you mentioned, even if they don't uh, wear makeup on, I think uh, men accessorize in certain ways, like watches or uh, other accessories. So, it's nice that you're bringing this up because I'm not sure uh, for people in your place, but you know, here there are a lot of Filipino men who are actually quite conscious as well. Yeah. So how about you in your uh, area? Hmm. Okay, so LA, it was, mm -hmm. we were talking about LA earlier. LA is very conscious of all of that. Men do put makeup on um, way more than other places. Um, they 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 have you know the the cosmetic surgery mm -hmm. that you know that that women you know usually are usually people say, people think that women are the ones that have the more cosmetic surgery but they they begin uh, Botox and all of that in their twenties and their thirties even men uh, rewarding because uh, my son with autism he is my biggest teacher and you know my wife too and also my kids but uh, because he makes me reflect on myself and what um, I need to work on as a man uh, so um, it's 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 definitely a challenge um, and it's it's not for the the, um, the weary um, but but totally and completely worth it and 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 we understand, I understand what it is to be um, an autism parent um, because I've been one for 10 years. My son's 10, almost 11 years old. Um, he is 5'2", five, 5 feet 2 inches and 160 pounds. And he is a very wow. strong kid. Um, yeah. <laughs> we have a uh, therapist coming in and out of the house all week long and mm -hmm. uh, through Zoom and also in person to help him with his communication because he is low verbal. He is on the moderate severe side. Um, there, there's a big spectrum with, with autism. There's, there's a, you know, a, a severe side and on the other side of the spectrum is Asperger's, you know, and Asperger's really isn't aut autism anymore. They kind of taken it off of the spectrum, but it's very, it's related to autism. Um, so he's kind of more on the, on the severe side. He does have some verbal skills uh, we are working on them, and it takes a lot longer for development with these with these children. So yeah. uh, it's it's just um, you know th there's we're presented with different challenges uh, as yeah. as autism parents. Uh, he just got potty trained uh, in March, and at, yeah. at ten years old, he just had just turned ten. He was close to being potty trained, very close at four, um, mm -hmm. but then 
he regressed for six years. Um, and, and we're talking about smearing on walls, um, uh, getting poop smeared on, on, um, on sheets and having to change him five or six times a day for years. Um, that's just one challenge that we've been through. Um, just so that you guys can uh, get a grasp of uh, a, a damn life of, a, <laughs> of an yeah. autism, um, a life like the negative feelings and, and, um, and, and, and even situations that are attracted to you um, all happens in your subconscious mind. So what hypnosis does is it reprograms your subconscious mind it's kind of like, our mind is kind of like a computer. It's like a supercomputer. It's the most powerful computer that exists. Mm -hmm. uh, we can process over 10,000 things uh, per second, yet we don't have access to all of that because 95 to 98% of the power is held in our subconscious mind as opposed to our mm -hmm. conscious mind. Um, mm -hmm. And, and you know, uh, a speaking is all conscious mind mm -hmm. we only are conscious our subconscious beings until five to seven years old so from zero to five to seven years old we are subconscious beings we don't necessarily mm -hmm. have a conscious mind we don't have that filter that says you know this is right or this is wrong um so a lot of um things that that happen, and this is very. This is why it's very important as parents to plant and to um, cultivate the most positive seeds in our children. Is because a lot of that. Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z eighty one Radio, Manila.